Hi, my name is Alex Carlucci with Gustin Show Associates. I want to talk to you about the changes in VA over the last few months. Let's go back to last year when they changed cash out. Only going to 90% cash out. Some can go to 100% cash out, but there's a really high rate. There's a large adjustment for it, but very rarely do lenders want to go above 90% cash out. I don't know what happened, why they changed it. It got reversed, but a lot of lenders kept on that program. We're going to sit, sit at 90. Now, VA first made it 90 for everybody, and then they went back to you go 100%, but these banks have adjustments in it. Uh, so the rate's a little higher if you go above 90 cash out. Uh, number two, beginning in 2020, there are no more loan limits, so up to like $3 million, we could do no money down. Uh, that's crazy to me, but no money down. So in the old days, you could only go to conventional or VA loan limits. Anything above that, you'd have to put down 25% of the difference. That's gone. So if you want to buy an $800,000 house, you're a veteran, it's no money down. Uh, the rate's a little higher on those higher balance loans, but you can still do it with a VA back guarantee. Number, number three, and the final thing is that um, they... <laughs> They changed the funding fee. There it is. I forgot for a second. The funding fee, what used to be 2.15 for a first time home buyer, never used a VA funding, uh, a VA uh, el eligibility before, 2.15, now it's 2.3. If you're a second time user, it was th went from 3.3 um, to 3.6. They all went up a little bit, so keep that in mind. Now, if you want to avoid those funding fees being high, you can always put 5% down and it's like 1.65. Keep that in mind. The funding fee has changed. My processors are getting used to it. Everybody's getting used to this change is an increase. Now, if you're if you're disabled at all, you're exempt from this. We have to get a certificate of eligibility from your Veterans United or from, sorry, from Veterans uh, VA. And once we get the VA certificate of eligibility, if it says exempt, we don't hit you for any funding fee. So keep that in mind. Uh, I don't hope you're disabled, but you are. It's going to help you out in the loan process. Give me a call 630-915-7550. Please subscribe.